Hey everyone, Apple just released beta 2 of their brand new macOS Tahoe, and if you're like me and deep into the Hackintosh world, you know what that means. With every beta, some things just might break. For my ThinkPad T480 here, it's the audio. It was working perfectly fine on beta 1, but now with beta 2, the Apple HDA is acting up. Ugh. But don't worry, we're going to get that fixed today. A huge shout out to Max1974 from Insanely Mac for finding a solution using Voodoo HDA. First things first, head down to the description box and download the zipped file. I've saved it right on my desktop for easy access. Once it's downloaded, just double click the file to extract it. Inside, you'll find a few files that are going to help patch your system and get your audio working again. Then, simply run the Hackintosh and Beyond app. This will open a terminal window and do its magic. Once it's done, you can just close it out. Now you'll see the Voodoo HDA package file. Double click that to start the installation process. Just follow the on screen prompts, it's a pretty straightforward setup. When it asks, go ahead and enter your administrator password. This will install Voodoo HDA onto your Mac, including all the necessary system extensions. Once the installation is complete, you can close the installer window. Open up your favorite Plist editor. I'll be using OCAT for this demonstration. First, we need to mount your EFI partition. So in OCAT, select the correct partition where your EFI is located and go ahead and mount it up. Scroll back up and look for Apple ALC. You will need to disable it. Go ahead and uncheck it to false. The do a quick search above for the CSR config. You can click the second results to locate it on your configuration. The value for the CSR config should be like this one. On your boot argument, if you have something like ALCID, remove it from there. Under the Device Properties section, do check this line of value since it has something to do with your audio, and here is the value for this ThinkPad. Once done, click the Save button above. Now we're going to hop into your system settings. Once that's open, navigate to the Privacy and Security section. Go ahead and scroll down a bit. First, just double check to make sure your file vault is turned off. This is pretty important for Hackintoshes. Just above File Vault, you should now see an Allow button, specifically for Voodoo HDA. Go ahead and click that. It'll prompt you to reboot your computer afterwards, so go ahead and restart when it asks. This reboot is crucial for the changes to take effect. Alright, once you're back on your desktop, go ahead and open up system settings again. This time, scroll all the way down and you should see a brand new section for Voodoo HDA. If you followed all the steps correctly, it should say Loaded right at the top. From these settings, you can use the drop down menus to select your available output or input devices. For now, I'm just going to leave all the settings at their default values but feel free to calibrate them to your own preferences. Now let's jump up to the control center and check out the sound menu. As you can see, those audio sliders are now fully adjustable, which is a fantastic sign that our audio is finally functional again. And back in system settings, we can also now see all those available input and output devices that were completely missing just a little while ago. And there you have it, no more silent Hackintosh. We tackled that pesky audio issue on macOS Tahoe Beta 2 for the ThinkPad T480, all thanks to Voodoo HDA and the brilliant solution from Max1974. We walked through downloading the necessary files, running the patcher, installing Voodoo HDA, and getting that crucial text into your EFI. Then we made sure to allow it in your system settings, and after a quick reboot, your audio was back in business. If you've been struggling with no sound after updating to macOS Tahoe Beta 2, 
then this is your solution. You can always use Voodoo HDA, or if the Apple ALC gets an updates for Beta 2. Give these steps a try and let me know in the comments if it worked for you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Hackintosh tips and tricks.